Nation, welcome back to Strictly Blizzness, episode eight. It is number eight. We're almost to number ten. You know what? While we're on number eight, I will miss number eight this year. Hate to start with a sad thing. But Footman. Why you got to bring that up? Why you got to be that way? <laughs> He's living his life. Yes. He's living his life. He Has he officially retired? I hope so, because I'll go cry in a corner if... Uh, well, he's still, on, he's he's still on, on our roster, yeah. so he's not going <laughs> yes, anywhere yeah, yeah. right now. So who are we talking about? Because not everybody that has seen our show knows, because if they're new to the Blizzard, sure. they don't know who number eight is. So Lenoris Footman was the quarterback in the 2019 season. It had definitely MVP-worthy season. Um, Drew Powell from Iowa absolutely was ridiculous as well, um, who actually took MVP, but Lenoris played out of his mind. was a lot of the reason for the playoff run. Yeah, and Lenoris has a great family. His mother yep. is, I just, I love her. He's just, the, yeah. the whole family, um, they'd come to the game and it just, it it's just, it's sad to see him go. Yep. But I understand, and that's the whole idea behind the Blizzard and them playing football is if we can't get them to the next level, then we want them to move on with life after football. And that's hard for some of these athletes to do. If all they've known through grade school, high school, college is football, when do you hang up the cleats? And maybe we'll do a show about that someday, about when it's time. We're about at the point that we'll start bringing special guests in, I think, right? Yeah, we're getting pretty close. Cool. What are we talking about today? This is weird because usually you ask me that. I do, don't yeah, I? You got it? This is a quiz, actually. And what? the answer is not woof, so you're in trouble. Mm. What are we talking about today, Ryan? <laughs> Funny you should ask. <laughs> That's so, my cue. That's so, my cue of your cue. Yes. So we're going to unpack the rest of the theme nights, and there's something pretty big going on Friday night this week. So, <laughs> hmm. This week, what is it? Oh, yeah. We're back. It's game day. Game day for sure. So we're on we're on an official countdown. So today's Tuesday. Yes. Ryan, how many days is it Let's till the game? Let's not do that. Let's not do that. <laughs> I'm counting under the table. Uh, <laughs> One, two, three. Someone get that abacus back from the previous episode. <laughs> so no, uh, we have uh, super exciting to be back. Um, everybody, come out. We need you to come out. Get tickets still. Uh, it'll yeah. be a blast Friday night. And aren't you wearing a shirt that I am? It's the do over game with the do over shirt. This is the do over shirt that you guys picked. So this is the version that you picked. Corey's gonna love it because it's got the claw mark. And Corey I love the claw mark. Yeah, yeah. So and I know everybody voted on designs with green, but when Kathy and I went to actually run the shirt, we have so many green t shirts that we want to do graphite with your design. Yes, it's not that gray. It's no, graphite. Not the gray bay blizzard. <laughs> yes. This is proof that I pay attention in prior episodes. You do. We're running it back today. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know. Oh. Anyways. Yeah. On okay. to the show. So the next three theme nights, uh, and we'll go in order. So Outdoors Night is going to be June 18th. That's a sharp looking hat. So it's a camo. We got some sponsors on there. We need to have a shout out to do to Ken Sports. Um Maverick Blinds, uh, both outdoor uh, type businesses. Ken Sports has been with us and has been a phenomenal supporter uh, for years now. And um, I know that the Trinkler family does support <laughs> Ken Sports quite for a bit sure. uh, every year. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> so Ken Sports is great for all of your uh, boats, snowmobiles, ATVs, you name it, they've got it. Yeah, if Jay ever decides not to renew, I'll be like, hey, did the Trinklers buy a boat this year? No, just kidding, Jay. No. So they have been absolutely outstanding. So we've done probably one of my favorite giveaways in my time here, too. So the Bruiser bobblehead for the 2019 season where he's on the ATV. That was a real cool one because the ATV bobbled and Bruiser bobbled. Yep, so that was really neat. Yeah, yep. That was really neat. I remember going out to drive the ATV yeah, and I'm like, yep. so, Jay, this doesn't look like mine. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. <laughs> Um, no, but great. Are we going to have some of their equipment on the field that day Yeah, or so outside? Jay, much like the Trinkler family, so the folks that own Ken Sports are big community players, so they have committed to help some local racetracks in the area this summer too. Um, so we will. Uh, I just don't know how many because they're at a lot of events this summer too. So we actually uh, might tie them to 
the third game or the last game in the season that we'll talk about here is too with some snowmobiles as well. So yeah. Jay will be there and the Ken Sports crew will absolutely be there. Uh, and I, I'm I'm with you. This was really sharp when this came in to the extent that Kathy and I saw it and we're like, we should probably up the order of those. So we got a couple more camel hats. So be yeah. sure to come to outdooring. Also a beer night. You cannot do the outdoors night without a beer night. You gotta have you gotta have those double bubbles. But we plan on um, plan on having a bunch of that stuff set up. We are sure going to have our friends from Maverick Blinds, the blinds set up there too. So it'll be cool. So Maverick Blinds, hunting, that's outdoorsy, very yes. outdoorsy. Yep. Maverick Blinds is a new uh, sponsor yeah. or partner with us. Uh, and they're going strong. So it's it's a new business to Wisconsin, but it's not a new business. And it's right. part of the village yes. as well. So good stuff. Next game. Next game. This one's fun because we, I mean, they all are fun. We have not unveiled a fact about military night this year. So those are folks that have been coming to plenty military night games. Uh, no, we tend to run a block party every year. Uh, we ran an indoor block party one year when uh, Rest in Peace Shop Go Hall was still around. Yeah. That was a lot of fun, though, because one block party, we braved 40 mile per hour wind, and we're like, we're indoor football. We'll throw an indoor block party. So um, I don't think it's indoor this year. We're going to roll the dice because outdoor is just better right now. Um, but there is some cool stuff going on. Um, I think we'll unpack it. You want to do it here? I do want to, actually. Because you want to get time. everybody hyped I do, about it. I do. So I have on a vintage yes. jersey. That is from 2014? I think. 15. I think it was 2013. Oh, 13. It was the first year? Yeah, it would have been Anyway, it's year. an yeah. old jersey. And yeah. on the back, very appropriately for me, it says, first to fight. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Catches a we'll just We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> um, but it is one of our, um, it's, a, it's an old jersey. And our players wore it. And actually that game, we had to cut it off of a player and then <laughs> um, cut one off of a player. And then we auctioned them off. Yep. And that leads me into, we will be auctioning jerseys off this year, uh, both player jerseys that would be worn on the field and then specialty jerseys. We have a few to auction off as well throughout the season. Cool. Absolutely. Yeah. That's news to me. There you go. You heard it here first. Uh, so what is what is it, though? Because yeah. I, I kind of sidetracked you. Sure. So what are you unpacking? What's so, the big deal? We'll unpack all of Military Night. So Rally Towels will be back this year, different color. That happens to be can the I 2019 do? that you can get for Do Overnight still. So Do Overnight plug as well. You get a couple years ago Rally Towel. Yes. Um, Military Night, the big shout-outs are our friends at Nicolay Bank, our WFRV folks, and then... I think most of the folks on the bottom of that towel are back and providing tickets to those who serve. So that's a real cool thing. If you're still interested in getting involved in military night is it's not necessarily writing a ridiculous check to get involved too. We offer the opportunity to send service men and women to the game uh, and get a shout out on our towel and on social media leading up to that as well. And thanked at the game, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And we do have a lot of vets that come to the game Absolutely. and they're very, very appreciative of the tickets, but also having fun and being out with fellow vets. Yeah. It's a and big night right along those lines. So the cool news is so Derek Jones, uh, is a country artist, vet, incredible human being, uh, who is really hot right now in the music scene locally. Uh, he is actually going to perform the block party, the national anthem, and potentially a couple songs at halftime. So <gasps> this is the first time you're hearing it. Um, we will post some info about him. We are really excited. Uh, he came to us through a company called High Gear Promotions, who also was involved in Sanctus Real that was going to show up on Faith and Fellowship Night. We hope to get them back in a future version of Faith yeah. and Fellowship Night. Um, but Derek is an artist on the High Gear Promotions roster, and he is very good, very, very good. Um, we are super excited, and I've been waiting to share it and get the word out because the block party is cool. Now having live music out front at the block party with games and food sampling from our partners, Ice Clouds, another new Blizzard partner. Everybody loves Ice Fun Clouds. Flicks. We'll have a screen Fun set flicks. up with Fun Flicks. Yeah, it's going to feel like that big game before the game type hangout. So, yeah. yeah. It'll feel like tailgating for a Packer game. Not the magnitude of tailgating, yeah. but it we shut down that whole street, and it yeah. just becomes a, a great event prior to the game. Yeah, so that's exciting to share that one, finally. So Yay. Yay. So he's a country and western. Yeah, I don't know that's if there's southern. twang. <laughs> a ton of southern. twang. He's good, though, and uh, 
it's been cool over the years, Millerton night, military night in general with was that militant military night, night. <laughs> Miller. Uh, it is a beer special night in okay. military. It's All a right. bud one though. Um, the it's been neat. So we've had some uh, the Marine Corps band um, that was really cool when they played yeah. the Marine hymn. Even when the Marine Corps band couldn't come in 2019, we did a mass swear in thanks to Green Bay Marines, and that was crazy powerful that was very powerful (laughs) watching those young men and women swear in and you just got goosebumps and what they were doing down on the field and the impact that that gave the crowd listening to what they were promising and swearing into yeah yeah it was very i was i was up in the suite and i just i yeah that's that's one that you'll see on the promo schedule every year, Blizzard Nation, and um, I think this year is going to be really cool because, as again, as things get better, it's really weird because just Kathy and I are transparent on the show. Usually, you see tendons take a hit as when Wisconsin weather gets crazy nice and people vanish. Some of our back end games are going to be monstrous this year, and I think people are going to come inside <laughs> and join us for the Blizzard. Well, football, it's going to so. be so hot outside, yeah. so you're going to want to come inside. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's a scorcher. Watch out, it's a scorcher. Yeah. That's not from a movie that I know of. I just felt Oh, like you it. never know. Yeah. Those Our guys friends at, at Big Bark, I when I say Big say, Bark. I say Wolf. Flipped it. You did. That kind of threw me. That's not my line. That's not my line. But he's going to find something. He'll you find just some. wait. He always does. <laughs> always. All right. So what night of the week are we talking about for both of those That's games? That's both Friday nights. That's Friday night, June 25th. So Friday night, you could still come to the game. Saturday morning, leave and go to the cottage. 100%. Yeah. You take your the rally ground. towel with you to wipe the sweat. I don't know. but um, Would you like to illustrate? No, we're good. On with the show again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then we got one more, though, to unpack. We do have one more. But you know what? Before we do that, yeah, I have a public service announcement. Uh-oh. I do. And you know how I love grammar? I do. I am the best grammar employee we have. You you challenge me with my red pen, <laughs> whether it's a text or an email, and I'll redline Brian, it. Brian, do you read those before you send those? <laughs> nope. Fire away. <laughs> like, I can't even understand what it is that you just sent me, but I know Ryan speaks, so yeah. I figure it Translate out. Translate it. So here's my thing, and I love our fans, but I do need to clarify we are the blizzard, as in a blizzard is a storm, yep. right? So when we talk about the storm in Sioux Falls, we don't say the storms. How are the storms? <laughs> we are not the blizzards. <laughs> you can be the, it's the blizzards game as an apostrophe S. That's fair. Right? Because it's a possessive. So yep. it's their game, but it's not a plural blizzards there's only one blizzard it's one team they are blizzard players they are not blizzards that make up the blizzard (laughs) that yeah are you are you feeling me do you know what i've seen this team a couple times yeah so they're not blizzards they're not blizzards it's one thing they're the blizzard yep i agree they're just a blizzard stop calling them the blizzards (laughs) it's almost like calling bling a bunny She's not a bunny. Nope. She is a Yeti with a ponytail on the top of her head. <laughs> if she's a bunny, she'd be missing an ear. Let's do the math there. So. <laughs> she'd be missing. <laughs> Poor Bling, Bling. The one-eared bunny. She's she's not a bunny. She's a Yeti. Okay, we're good. She's a Yeti. I didn't say she's a bunny. I'm just saying if she was. Oh, if she was, she would right. be one-eared. There or they be all sorts of confusion time. in the first version of the Blizzard Scale where we played on Easter weekend. Oh, we yeah. We had problems. So. <laughs> That's true because she's in pink. You guys brought bunnies. No, there's no bunnies. And if you don't know the story of Blizz and Bling, they are Bruiser's niece and nephew, and they're twins. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I feel much better now. You good. Got that out of your system. I do. Okay. I feel much better. What's but game? We, what's the last game of the year? So the last game of the year, <laughs> and it's in July, and we're not used to having games in July. No. But July is halfway through to one of my favorite holidays. So I brought props. Santa, I know him. Santa! Santa! (laughs) Yes, I know him. So I brought a prop for you. 
That's for you. Oh, no. I didn't see that one when <laughs> yes. you came in. I Cut the it. show. So, <laughs> here's my prop. What just happened? <laughs> That's my little elf reindeer over there. So, we are doing Christmas in July. Yeah. Christmas in July. Christmas it might July. even snow in the arena. It may. Shout out. We're gonna we're gonna put the pressure on now. Shout out to Jason at Lighthouse Productions. It's on you, friend. Yes. You figure that out. Yes, we're gonna figure out how we're gonna do that. But even bigger than that, we have something that I think is really cool that we'll start working on probably in the next month or so because it's gonna take some time to unpack this. We are going to do a special version of whether you call it the voice. American Idol, whatever it might be. I don't know who our panel of judges are going to be. You guys are going to have a voice, though. We're going to ask people to do what, Ryan? Uh, sing Christmas tunes. Yeah. So it's uh, American Idol voice, whatever competitive singing show you watch, show, but only Christmas songs or holiday songs are allowed. No pop top 40, none of that stuff. Right. It is holiday songs only. It's going to be a blast. Right. So. so we want you to, if you're a good singer or if you're not such a good singer, but you do well with Christmas carols, send in a clip of you singing uh, your favorite song. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, have a show where we're going to get it down to 10 maybe. And do some sort of a presentation that we'll put out on YouTube. And then we'll have you guys vote. And then the top three are going to perform at halftime yep. for the crowd live. 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 From New York. Yes. I don't have to cut that one. Yeah, I don't think you can use it. Okay. Yeah, you probably can't use okay. that. Or you can. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to have them perform live. And we'll announce the winner at the game. We'll have a great prize for them as well. Yeah. So if you're a singer, if you know someone that sings... Please send in a clip of you singing your favorite Christmas carol um, with a nice hat on or some nice ears. Yep. Didn't know this was happening. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I brought them special for you. Yeah. Also, one other big thing at that, those of you guys have been around the promo schedule for our whole time here, like, where is Faith and Fellowship Night? Faith and Fellowship Night is on Christmas in July. So our friends at Feed My Starving Children, the mobile pack is usually in the fall anyway, so this actually might help out pretty good that it, the game is actually closer to the mobile pack this year. We've had a great partnership with Feed My Starving Children over the years. Um, your dollar goes a long way when we fundraise on that Absolutely. game to provide a crazy amount of meals for kids in need. So uh, that's always been typically our biggest fundraising check. Uh, Digital Dash will give it a run this year, that's for sure. Um, but Feed My Starving Children is a big deal to us, and they'll be on this game as well. Yeah, and what better way to do faith and fellowship but on a Christian holiday? Yep. Um, so Christmas in July. Christmas in July. And maybe we'll do some nice, beautiful tunes too, Christmassy, Christmassy yeah, tunes. Yeah, it might be, we'll work on something cool. It might be neat to have one of those huge choirs do it. And Wouldn't it? I, I think it'd be really cool. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. So be cool. I know I know somebody that does a Christmas cantata every year. Oh boy! Yeah, they're and they're really good. I just I just it's gonna be fun. <laughs> right, it's meant to be fun. Right, we've done some ridiculous things, and Kathy's had some amazing costumes over the season. This one's gonna be fun, right? And if we can figure out the snow, we're working on it. Like I just Christmas trees, I hope in a lobby. Like it, it like, could be really it could cool. Be out of out of this world for an indoor football game, right? And we have a pretty good pretty good opponent that game too. And I think we have a guest appearance from somebody from the league that game too. If that's uh, can we? I shareable. told him. I told him <laughs> it is shareable. Okay. Um, our commissioner will be attending that game, yep. and I told him I expect him to be in a Santa hat. <laughs> so Todd, if you don't have one, this one is available. You can even have these. Or you're wearing those. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. He plays Sioux Falls. So has some Isn't it ironic how he shows up on a Sioux Falls game? Team, yeah. yeah. Former owner of the Sioux Falls Storm, not Storms, uh, is going is our commissioner and he's gonna be at that game. Yeah, and I know I asked even when that game against them was way early on, was supposed to open the season, original Correct. version of the schedule. I asked our good friends at Big Bark Media to do something cool for war of the weather so we have some fun coming you don't want to give too much i'm out. not i have no clue he probably hasn't started it yet probably not <laughs> he does such good work he does such good work and really quick it's, he's got it covered he's yes. got it covered so 
one of the reasons why I like this show, and I just want to point this out. So Ryan and I have talked a lot about going to movies and our, our love of Disney and our love of Star Wars and just everything Marvel. That's just our universe. Did you see yeah, what I did there? I did. Yeah. Um, I was not as good as the bat one on accident, but I'll give it to you. <laughs> good meaning, wow. <laughs> what just happened? Yeah. Good? yeah. Okay, go on. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, Ryan and I, our, our other passion or love is music. Yep. And Ryan has already told you guys that he's, well, did have you unpacked that? That I played? Yeah. Uh, I think in other some mm, way that might probably be never a to fact Blizzard check. Nation in not always here. to our players when we to do our play players, right? Yeah, yep. so what's really cool is when our guys were introducing themselves on that first week they came to camp. Yeah, I was amazed. We have we have one of our players that can play three instruments. Yep. We have quite a few players that can play an instrument. Ryan can play an instrument. I used to play the piano, I haven't done it in a while, but we love music. Yep. Ryan actually has some music that's out there right now. It, it is. I think it's great. You should I, talk I, about it. I mean, it's, it's a great still, song. It's still on iTunes. I yeah. Mean, yeah. Look him up. Ryan Hobson. Ryan Hobson or the band I used to play for, Runway 36, still exists on there. Yeah. So, yeah. so you should go yep. go listen to some of his music because it's actually really cool. Um, and that's why I like what we're doing here because we both love music. Figma Scent, which is one of my other businesses, Um is looking for people that can play and has original music. You and I are working on some yep. original stuff. Yep. So I, I just think it's it's a great tie-in to everything that we do. You do what you love, right? Absolutely. And you embrace what you love, and you try to weave it into anything yeah. that you <laughs> right. do. Yeah. So music is pretty cool. And if you haven't, so I really want to do this. I have I have my own name for it, but what is it called? I think it's called silent disco. Okay, I want to call it private disco. If you guys have never done this, you wear everybody has a set of headphones on and you're all listening to yep. different music, <laughs> but you're in a room dancing together, but you're not all dancing no. to the same song, which is kind of like our life where yeah. we're not in not the, the we same. don't have headphones no. on, but we're yeah. No. And on a different yeah, tune. Yeah, all the time, different tune. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, check it out because they have it at D2. At D2s, yeah. At D2 they have Private disco. Silent disco. Private disco. I Silent think they should disco. rename it to private disco. Two over. Silent disco. <laughs> <laughs> but also, there is something that is really cool. So this is just for you people that want to get out and do something. There's a thing called Singo. Um, right? It's called Singo? I think it's Singo. It's, yeah. it's not bingo. It's, it's Singo. It's not Slingo. That's and it's not that's Slingo. It's Singo. It's, it's Singo, and it's it's over at our friends that are just down the block from D2, as a yeah. matter of fact. Yeah, yeah. So we're not going to put both of these on the screen at no. the same time. Nope. Because um, they are competitors, but they're right. friendly They're friendly competitors. <laughs> and that would be Amanda over at? Stadium View. Stadium View. Yep. A great establishment Absolutely. Um, to kick back after our games. Um, prior to our games, I know we have a lot of fans that go there uh, before our games yeah. as well. Um, and it, it's a whole new look from when they were here in 2019. If they didn't come to a game in 2019, it's going to look totally different when right. they pull up to her yeah. parking yeah. lot. So go go check out Singo. Silent Disco. Or Private Disco. Or Silent Whichever disco. you'd want to call it, really. Because you're in there like Private Potato Disco. Potato. Okay, whatever. <laughs> anyway, I think I have everything covered now. You did good. That was a lot of stuff. You did good. It was a lot of words. <laughs> Okay. There's a lot of words. <laughs> this Friday, we better see all you Blizz Nation folks at the game. Because there's going to be deal. a test on the field. There is a test. What's like, the test? I don't like. <laughs> he has no idea no what I'm talking no clue about. We're going to this <laughs> like for the players, like. <laughs> no, there's going to be a test for the fans to see if they really watch our show. Right. Because we're just... going to be out there with mics and we're going to say, when we say Big Bark, you say. Woof. So. That, that's you get to Our cheat. friends at PMI have actually installed a couple ejector seats. If you get it wrong, Ooh. you will be ejected into the rush center roof. Not woof, rough. <laughs> we can't eject <laughs> fans. It's false advertising. Okay. Scratch that. Jeez, <laughs> oh, Louise. <laughs> oh, but it'll okay. be a lot of fun. And we'll, the point of these shows and why we started doing this was just, uh, let's call it pull back the curtain, give you guys a little insight into what Kathy and I do in Blizzard football. Um, 
but a lot of it'll weave in and out of the game too because big bark is a big part of what we do at the game as well. So. They're big. Yeah. Big bark. Big, <laughs> big bark. bark. Yeah. <laughs> Wolf. That's a mega shameless plug. That was that was a big one. That was a big one. <laughs> but it's it's a good one. Yes. Excellent. I think I think that's our show. It is. We will see you Friday. Friday. At the game. I know Kathy and I will have a ton to do for the opener, but I plan on standing in the lobby next to you, you and welcoming all those folks back to the restaurant and back to Blizzard football. So You never told me I was going to be in the lobby. You're going to be in the lobby. Congrats. In fact, you're not even going to your seat at all. So last person, please don't come in at 845. Yeah, <laughs> so. Please don't. Please don't. I think it's, we also need to let everybody know, we've said it, but we need to stress it. There is not a fifth quarter. Correct. At this game. Um, because of COVID, because of distancing, because of keeping our players safe, you will not be able to come down onto the field after the game like we have been able to in the past. I'm working very hard and diligently with Brown County to see if we can do something. It's not going to look like it has in the past for fifth quarter um, for the foreseeable future, but we're hoping to do something where we might have tables on the field and the players signing autographs um, in a distanced manner, but you won't be able to have the kids running up and down the field, throwing footballs, any of that. Unfortunately, that's just the state that we're in. Um, we can encourage you, though, to come out after to D2 and sure. meet the players. Um, it is a bar, uh, but we do have families that come and say hi. Absolutely. and we absolutely want to encourage you to do that. It's just within the rush center and the confines of the rush center. We are very limited as to what we can do. You bet. So, but we hope to see you Friday, Friday, we'll Friday, Friday, Friday. Yeah. Should we hit them with it? What are we hitting them with? Oh, Blizz. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what do we do? Go Blizz. Go Blizz. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, share, and ring that notification bell to get all of our content in your inbox. 